Now, I came back in 1971 and formed an office with Bill Cannon. And uh, I had worked with Bill at the Nelson office. And one of the first jobs we got was the mapping for the new metro in Washington, D.C. And I'll just show you a little bit of this. I was primarily involved with the, uh, the system map. And in 2013, uh, they asked me to redesign the map and bring in that gray line. I, well, it's just, they call it the silver line. Comes in from Dulles Airport, goes right through the center of uh, the city. And this was really interesting to do because I did the first one by hand, and it was it was it was technically it was good, but it was such a joy to sit down and do this on the computer and get all of everything just uh, worked out perfectly. Um, so that's that's in uh, operation now. Now I want to mention a little bit about teaching. I, I taught for 40 years at uh, Parsons, and. I know from my own experience how hard it is. In fact, I think it's impossible to teach someone to have a concept. You can create an environment where a person, a he or she, can have the experience of having a concept and then go through the developmental period and then wind up with a, a finished, original something. And I think now, and even more so now, the, the end result is what the focus is on. And it's very difficult to teach because that process is a very, uh, it's time consuming, it's hard, it's hard to be original, it's hard to know how to go to, in that direction. And I show this, this was just published by Unit Editions and it's a sketchbook of uh, my process from 1973 to 1982. And I wish I had this, I wish I had this when I was teaching, it would make things a lot easier because you know, it really does show things like uh, initial sketches for the National Zoo. I wanted to bring the, uh, the baby eagle in and the adult because caring and continuation were two prime things that they wanted to express at the zoo. And it goes all the way through the process until we get to, you know, the final icon and then all the animal icons and everything. But it's not just the final result. All the structure, all the icons, all went through a process and they all had a basic concept in the beginning. And you can't just say that. I mean, students don't want to hear that. They want, they want finished products. And it's true, you know, and it's sad, but uh, I don't know whether there's been really, really good uh, techniques developed uh, to get students into realizing how powerful a concept can be and how empowering it is to that student and to that designer to go through the process of having, um, you know, finished work that is good. This is for the Minnesota moose, Minnesota Zoo, another zoo. Again, the typography based on the guide bird. And this was a synthesis. I synthesis, synthesis, synthesis I, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I combined animals and numbers and in that way, was able to really index the zoo very effectively, and uh, this, this was working pretty well. In 1981, it was chosen by Time, Time Magazine as one of the 10 best designs in the United States, so we were very happy about that. Now, this is recent. I just had a, uh, an exhibition at MUAC, that's M-U-A-C, it's a uh, Beautiful, beautiful museum in Mexico City, part of the university, and the, the uh, exhibit is on, I call it urban icons, and just by taking all of the work on my spiral and putting it into an urban environment, um, I, did the, I did the poster. Coming and Going was the name of the show. This is uh, MWAC, the, uh, it's a museum, and that's one of the views into the show. They published a book that uh, is, I think it's 11 projects that I did in Mexico, and that's very nice. And this is a very good overview of my work, um, published by, again, Unit Editions, and it has all of my Mexican work and all of the, most of the work that's on the spiral itself. I got better. <laughs> I did one of uh, the official posters for Obama, so my presidential posters have improved. 
<laughs> and I wanted to show you just one thing from the metro. They, they asked me to do something. They have a program where they go, in, they go into the metro tunnels where the trains go through, and they get the dogs, that, there are actually dogs that live in those tunnels, and they, they rehabilitate them and they put them up for adoption. And um, I guess that's one of the dogs being brought out. So they asked me to do something to um, represent that. So I took the logo itself, <laughs> and that's the mayor of Mexico City. <laughs> I, I used uh, something I did for SEGD as a model and did a 48th anniversary logo for them. And of course, that's the uh, 40th anniversary for SEGD. -E -E so I'm still doing it. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.